Bert, it is an absolute honor to be here with you today. Um, as I told you just now, you're on the top of my list of people to interview. Um, I grew up watching Batman and Robin, um, and it's, it's a pleasure to be here, so thank you. Um, now, acting as Robin was your first role acting ever. How did you come upon it? Well, I was studying acting professionally and going to UCLA, and I sold a house. I was selling real estate on the weekend, sold a house to a producer who sent me to an agent who uh, said, hey, there's something over 20th Century Fox. Don't expect to get it. We, we, you know, or if you do get something, it'll be a year before you get it, and you might have a walk-on with one line. Wow. But the, they didn't even know what it was. So I went over to 20th Century Fox, and I met the casting director. And the casting director said, well, you know, um, maybe I'll have you meet the executive producer. And I thought, everybody meets the executive producer. <laughs> Not true. Not so turns out that they interviewed 1,100 young guys, and they selected me for the part of Robin. They said because, in their opinion, that me, Burt Ward, personally, would be the closest to what Robin would be if Robin were alive. In other words, athletic and all the kind of stuff like that. So I was very complimented by it, and um, they said, we just want you to be enthusiastic and be yourself. And that's what I did. It worked for you, too. Yep. Now, when you first started out, did you realize that it was going to become such a huge hit and with such a following? Uh, no, no one did. Um, I remember when I was filming it, you know, the way you work in filming, you work for about one minute, then you wait for 45 okay. minutes, then you work for one more minute. So I And I had never seen all the graphics, so when I watched the first night and I saw it with all the graphics, the pows, the zaps, the fight scenes, I said, wow, that's really pretty good. And it turned out that Batman that night got a 55 share, which meant that 55% of all the televisions on in the United States where they did the rating were watching Batman, and all the other stations combined had 45%. Wow. That's really huge. That's incredible. Now, being a part of Batman, it's huge. Um, you played a major part. Robin is, where would Batman be without Robin? Um, the remakes that you see nowadays, Robin's nowhere to be seen. Why do you think that is? <clears throat> because they went with a different approach. Um, what they call it Dark Knight, you know, and it's, um, it's a heavier tone. It appears not to be as targeted to children as it is to adults, whereas our show was a family show. It was for everybody. And whereas they talk about today's, and they're wonderful movies, don't misunderstand me. They're fabulous, I enjoy seeing them, but they're more of an adult film. And, you know, as I said, they call it The Dark Knight, when Adam West, who played Batman, and I like to think of our show as The Bright Knight. I like the way you put that. Now, can you tell me, when you were acting as Robin, um, my absolute favorite episode is when the villain turns into your character. Just the way you flick your hair is... It's a memory in my household. <laughs> Is there any particular episode that sticks out in your mind that was the best one to play? No, I liked all of them, but the only thing about our show was it was actually a very dangerous show to make. And I remember in the first episode, it's five days per episode, and um, I was in the emergency hospital for the first five days. Oh and and I'm, I've never been in a hospital in my life, but from explosions that didn't go right, from... Uh, you know, all kinds of things, like the very first day on Batman, uh, the, I was to shoot the bat coming out of the Batcave, and the assistant director said, okay, Bert, go get in the Batmobile, we're ready to shoot, and I got in the Batmobile, and I looked over, and it wasn't Adam West. I said, oh, oh who are you? He says, oh, uh, I'm a stuntman, uh, and I said, well, well, why are you here? Well, he says, because it's a very dangerous shot, and they hired me to do it so that Adam West wouldn't get hurt. I said, well, wait a minute here. I, I'm playing Robin. Don't I have a stuntman? And they said, oh, yeah, you've got a stuntman. I said, oh, okay, well, where is he? Oh, he's over having coffee with Adam West. I said, wait a minute. You, you're telling me this is a dangerous shot, and I, wait, I've got to stop this. And so and they're, here they're saying, getting ready to go. I mean, they're going now. They're closing up the cave. They're, I said, wait, 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 wait. I think there's a terrible misunderstanding. The assistant director comes over, and I say, look, I, you know, I, I understand this is a dangerous shot. He says, oh, yeah, Bert, we know that. Well, and I also understand that I have a stuntman, but he's over there talking with Adam West and having coffee. Says, oh, yeah, that's true. So well, wait a minute. Why isn't he sitting in here and me over there having coffee with Adam West? Oh, well, we can't use him. I, 
what do you mean you can't use a stuntman? He doesn't look like you. Oh, my goodness. I said, wait a minute. Why would you hire somebody to be my stuntman if he doesn't look enough like me to be able to use him? That means i got to do my own stunts. I said, we couldn't find anybody who looked like you. So... Sure enough, I come out of the Bat Cave at 55 miles an hour. They make a big t turn left, as it does on TV. But unexpectedly, my door flew open. It hit the cameraman, knocked him off the seat. It knocked one of the lights over. And I was thrown out of the car. And I reached around, and I caught my little finger on the gear shift knob. And it took my finger out of joint. Okay? And it was very painful. I never had something where it was pulled out like that. And uh, so they, uh, they came over and they said, oh, are you okay, Bert? And I said, well, I don't know. I, this is really killing me. My hand, oh, they said, gee, that's terrible. We're going to have to get you to the emergency hospital just after we get the shot. I said, wait a minute. i got to wait till we get the shot. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're all set up here. We can't, oh, my God, I'm in terrible pain. Well, I'm, I don't know what to tell you, Bert, that we got to get the shot. It was three hours later before they took me to the emergency hospital. There you go. The real superhero is right here. I don't know. It was. I tell you, after and then it happened the next day. Something else. The next day. And the next day. And I did not honestly think I was going to survive the first week. I thought I'm I'm going to get killed before the end of the week. But you got through two seasons. Uh, three three seasons. Yeah, 120 episodes. And I've Batman got them movies. all on PVR. Oh yeah, with the two Batman movies and uh, one of the movies they released in London. Uh, as a as a movie that here was a three parter con called Londinium Larcenies, nice. yeah. So anyway, it was a lot of fun, and people come out. They love to come out and see me, and my wife and I uh, operate now the largest giant breed dog rescue in the world. We've developed a food called Gentle Giants. We have dogs living 18 to 21 years, which is unheard of, and living healthy. And so I come out and I make personal appearance like this with the Batmobile. People pick up a bag of our Gentle Giants food. They get a free color photo of uh, me as Robin from the series with an autograph on it. Plus, they get to sit in this beautiful Batmobile and have their Dude, picture taken. Amazing. And the Batmobile, of course, is the most famous car in the world, but it's usually only at car shows. And you can't sit in it and you can't touch it, but here I've arranged to do it because I know the owner. And I definitely don't want to push that to the side. You are here for a specific reason. Right. Can you tell us a little bit about your dog food? Uh, our dog food is called Gentle Giants. It's an all-natural food, but it is different than every other dog food in the world. And what we've managed to do is that we have dogs living 18 to 21 years and living very healthy on our food, whereas no one else to our knowledge has done this. No, okay. And our food is different than every other food because it is very low-fat inside and none of that greasy stuff on the outside, which every dog food except ours has some coating of animal fat on the outside to get oh. dogs to eat it because dogs don't like the taste of dog food. But they love our food, and our food actually flushes dogs' arteries and open, removes the fat that is built up from other dog foods. And in three to four weeks, you have um, arteries with, flowing with much more blood, and the dog feels better, is better, and is living 18 to 21 years. And you have living proof of that. You have oh, a yes. number of dogs at home. Oh, yeah. Uh, we, yeah, our own personal dogs are all 18 to 21, and they're so healthy, we don't even take them to the veterinarian except every three years to get a rabies shot. Whereas everybody else's dog, by the time they're eight or nine years old, the dog starts to have a little trouble getting up, have a little trouble walking. Then they go to their vet. The vet says, well, there's not much I can do. Your dog is old. I mean, they, dogs can live 18 to 21 years if they're fed our food and if they follow our feeding and care program. Because it, it, they're tied together with how you feed your dog and how you care for your dog. That's incredible. I'm glad that there's someone like yourself out there doing something well, it's for all charity. We do this all for charity. We love dogs. This is our contribution to society. That's amazing. Like I said, a true superhero. Well, thank you, thank citizen. Thank you so much. To the Batmobile. <laughs> okay.